argument, but let's talk about the school situation a minute. And where we, there's obviously, whether it's designated gun-free or not, if someone is licensed to carry a firearm, wouldn't you want that person that's licensed to carry a firearm to be able to be there in a Columbine slash Newtown type of a situation? I don't, I don't care what you label it. Gun-free isn't the issue. The issue is whether someone lawfully has a permit to carry. Now, and I tell you, I served six years on a school committee in Cranston, and, you know, the biggest issue that ever came before us was a prayer on the wall, and and, and we can go at it for, for, for a long time about that issue. But I can tell you this, that if, God forbid, one of my schools in Cranston, and I represent a lot of them, were attacked by some person who had serious behavioral issues like all of these gunmen do. I would be the first person to be advocating that I would hope the social studies teacher has a license to carry a permit, uh, a weapon. Okay, so then we go to the risk benefit analysis. So the, let's let's have uh, let's have a bunch of people in a school committee meeting or in a, in a classroom uh, with with concealed carry permits because anybody with a concealed. Well, I'm going to answer you. In, I don't mean any disrespect, but the scariest thing that ever happened to me as a school committee member, and it's just um, and I very rarely. Uh, relive this but one of the scariest things that ever happened to me was when we were dealing with that very school prayer issue that very school prayer issue at cranston high school east and there were way more people in the room about a school prayer than there were in this room tonight way more we filled it we needed a fire marshal at cranston high school east and the first thing that happened that day was they found someone walking aimlessly on the second floor of cranston high school east and what the police did, the Cranston police did, held the school committee in the principal's office while they released bomb dogs into the building because we didn't know who was coming, where they were coming from, because we, we had gotten communications from everywhere. And I'll tell you what, if one of my colleagues here had a license to carry and we came under attack, God forbid, Sure, law enforcement walks in the room now as I'm talking. But 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 if they come in, they come in. God forbid. Then I hope that we've got at least a shot. Out in the pun, at least a shot at, at protecting ourselves. Yeah.